Top Gun Maverick is breaking records after a wildly successful opening weekend. It made $156 million, the most ever for a Memorial Day movie debut. While many Minnesotans saw the movie, some got an even closer look at the military aircraft featured in the action. Our David Schumann shows us the moment they, the planes came in for a landing today and shares how the blockbuster film was a big benefit to the U.S. Navy. The Super Hornet and the Growler were right on schedule Tuesday, arriving in Minneapolis from their California base. Around where we fly, we can fly at 200 feet off the desert, just like you'll see in the movie. And uh, we're doing that at uh, 400 knots, so uh, everything blurs by you pretty fast. Commander Tom Harold's call sign is White Tiger. 21 years in the Navy, he says flying jets never gets old. Maybe part of the reason why a movie like Top Gun has proven to be timeless. Top Gun, that was a great recruiting experience uh, for the Navy back in the 80s. And uh, now that Top Gun 2 or Maverick has come out, we're obviously riding on those coattails. Harold says the new movie nails the flying too, mostly. You know, obviously there's, there's some Hollywoodness that goes into it, but uh, listening to the comms, and some of the things that they do, uh, there's an emergency procedure there, and they actually follow the steps in the emergency procedure. And they're not uh, playing, you know, football on the beach and at the bars as much as I'd like to be doing that. It takes some serious training to be a pilot. Good grades, too. The movie brings the flying to the masses, but in this presentation, the Navy League of Minnesota is trying to bring the real life experience home. That they get a better understanding and appreciation for the 24-7 job this is out here to uh, you know, protect and defend um, you know, America's interests on the seas, under the seas, and in the air. Tickets are available for a Wednesday screening of the new movie, followed by a Q&A with active duty Navy fighter pilots. In Minneapolis, David Schumann, WCCO 4 News. Paramount is the movie company behind Top Gun Maverick. Paramount is also the parent company of CBS and WCCO.